new loss that feels just like the old loss our country has long known. It's hard to know what to say. Hasn't it already been said? Injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. Black lives matter, but it feels wrong to say nothing. George Floyd, Breonna Taylor, Ahmed Arbery, Michael Brown, Alton Sterling, Rolando Castile, mm -hmm. Trayvon Martin, and on and on. It's an age old list. I don't like having to imagine them on the soul plane, on the spirit plane, in order to find peace. Their work was here. Their lives and loves, their hopes and pleasures we're here. And let's be clear, white rage, disregard, adrenalized fear, that's what stole their lives. And a system designed to abet such things has denied them proper justice. Mm -mm -mm. It's maddeningly simple. There is no way this is not wrong. Right. I think of Carolyn Bryant Dunham, the white woman who admitted 60 years after the fact right. that the claims she made against Emmett Till, mm -hmm. the claims that led to his lynching, were false. Too late. I think of Amy Cooper, whose false claims that an African American man was threatening her life in Central Park Go ahead. must have been inspired in part by the knowledge of women like Donham. Mm -hmm. But mostly, I think of Emmett Till, George Floyd, Breonna Taylor, Ahmed Arbery, Michael Brown, Alton Sterling, Philando Castile, Trayvon Martin, and on and on. The age old list we must find some way to cut short. We know what their lives could have led to. Where were they allowed to last? But hate and fear and reckless power stole their beautiful black lives. Justice has not been served. I call their names in commemoration and reclamation and in an attempt to summon the largest force I believe in. I want to quote, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Power without love is reckless and abusive. Mm -hmm. And love without power is sentimental and anemic. Mm -hmm. Power at its best is love implementing the demands of justice. Mm -hmm. Justice at its best is love correcting everything that stands against love. We are alive in the 21st century in America. We have bodies and voices, and we have one another. Let each of us serve as a corrective to the violent and reckless power mm -hmm. that stands against the force of love. Uh -huh. yes.